Why are string methods so hard? Am I gonna be stuck forever? Don't worry, if you watch this video, you'll be just fine. Hey, it's Alex back again, helping you get working code quicker in your Java program. On this channel, I make Java tutorials just like this every week, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's kick it off by making a new Java project, as we always do here. We'll call it our string methods, hit finish, throw a new class in here, which is just a Java file. We'll name it string methods again, and we're good. So let's take it apart. String method. A string is just a word that's wrapped in double quotes. On the YouTube screen you're watching this on, there's text everywhere, your username, the title, the description, these are all strings. And you write a string like this. String name equals, let's say, Billy Bob Joe. Okay? And that's a string. Now, what's a method? A method is just a fancy name for code that does one specific task. So a string method is just code that does a specific task to your string. For example, let's print out our name. Uh, we'll say name and then tack on our name string and save it, run it, and this will just print out the string Billy Bob Joe. I went over the basics of just normal strings in a separate video. I'll have that linked on the card now, and I highly recommend you watch that before moving on to this one. So great, we printed out our string. But let's try one of those string methods, one of those pieces of code that does something to our string. So let's print out something else and see what we can do with those string methods. To access a string method, you type your string, and then you do a dot. And this will show all the string methods that you can use on your name. And there's a whole lot of them. And if you click it, you will see like the description, but they're not very readable to human beings because they're way too technical and like nobody understands that. That's, that's, that's a different thing. I'm gonna show you some of the most popular ones. I've been programming for like seven years and these are the ones that I think come up the most often. Ones I like to do are uppercase. So if you scroll down, if you're in uh, Eclipse, you'll see this. Uh, if you're not in Eclipse, then you might have something similar, but you can just double click it to do two uppercase. Or you could just type it out. This two uppercase, and then the little parentheses here, is a string method. And this string method converts the name to uppercase. So if we add a little description here, uh, we'll say, um, uppercase like that, save it and run it, we'll see Billy Bob Joe converted to all uppercase. You can also do the same with lowercase. So we'll do another string method example. We'll say lowercase, add a plus sign to tack on that new string. We'll do name dot to lowercase, and this is another string method. Save it, run it, and we get our name string converted to all lowercase characters. So strings are anything wrapped in double quotes, just like the name, and methods do a specific task. In this first one, the specific task we're doing to this string is converting to uppercase, and in this one, the specific task we're doing to the name is converting to lowercase. Any method we'll have these parentheses. Another string method example we can do is get the first character of the string. So we can say like first char, char or character and then go into our name string, see what string methods we can do and say char at zero. And this will get the character at the zero index. And indexes always start at zero, not one just for programming purposes. Save and run that, and that'll get the B. So now we have three examples of string methods in Java. We can convert a string to uppercase, we can convert a string to lowercase, and we can get the very first character of a string. There are also other very useful ones that I use pretty often. You can get the length. So uh, you can just get the length of a string by typing the string name, then typing length with those parentheses since it's a method. Save it and run it. We get the length of 13. 
That looks about right. One, two, three, four, five. In the white space of character, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You can get the last character of a string by typing this. Uh, last char, chart, char, name, character at. Then the last index, which is 12, save it, run it, we get that E there. And another really useful thing you can do is make a substring. So like cut part of the string out and we'll call it substring. You can do this by doing name dot substring. And we need to enter the beginning index and the end index. So indexes start at zero is just like position. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the J is at index 10. So we start at index 10 and cut it up until index 13, which is the very end. Oh, so I'll save that, run it, and then we get the last name. Notice how's like, how there's a comma here. This just means we're entering multiple values into these parentheses. Sometimes the parentheses will have no values. Sometimes the parentheses will have one value. And sometimes the parentheses will have multiple values. You can tell a piece of code is a method if it has the parentheses. Don't worry too much about memorizing all this. I have the code in the description. And as you use these more and more, you, they'll become more familiar to you. If you ever wanna see what you can do with the string method or what string methods are available to you, you can just type your string and then a period. And then that'll bring up a list of all the ones you can do. And then you, maybe you can recognize one. Like you'll see, oh, there's two lowercase. I can use that one and just click on it. So that's what most programmers do. Instead of memorizing, um, they just type that period and then usually there's a list that shows you what you can do. Question of the day, what string methods are you using in your Java program? Let me know in the comments down below and engage with this community of new programmers. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. It really means a lot to me. I've been getting so much great feedback from so many different people. It's really amazing. If you like this content and it's helping you, make sure to subscribe so you see all my newest videos the day they come out. If it was helpful, please smash that like button and share it if you think it might help someone you know. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate it. Catch ya.